Hey everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to Dragalia Lost. We're just doing this game now. It just came out. Uh, came out like 15 minutes early, actually. Hooray for that! Um, I had Nox and Mimu ready to go as my emulators of choice, but they don't seem to be working right away. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm getting it to run right now. Um, how I'm going to run it with five uh, instances at once and try to get a good reroll ASAP so I can get into this game. Um, so just a fair warning, I do not endorse emulators whatsoever. I do not recommend you using them. The only time I ever really use them is for re-rolling at the start of games. Like I used one at the start of Fey and that's it. And um, I used some at the start of Fate Grand Order and that's it. And I really just, it's not safe. It doesn't make me feel safe. I feel worried when I use them. But just as a heads up, I have to get that out there since I usually um, am super against them. But for this sort of thing, it's just a thousand times easier. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to two URLs. One of them I we have in the link of the description below, same with the, with the other one, is this here, this Google Drive. And this is not my Google Drive. I was linked this from Mazjack. This is the APK. We've got it right on the side there. Um, we're also going to use an emulator called LD Player. You can use a Google search for it, or I can have it in the link description as well. I've never seen or used this one before, but it's pretty similar to Mimu. If you've ever used Mimu or Nox, you pretty much know exactly how to get this working. So um, I've then got the download going and you've got this going, you've got both files. So you want to run the installer, get the installer going here. And I'm going to start up, um, it's called LD Multiplayer. And this is what the window will look like when you get it done. Um, once you have the installation done, make sure you open LD Multiplayer, not the other one, because this makes it easier to run multiple instances at once. And you can change your settings and have your settings different in each um, emulator you want. So first off, I always keep a base emulator there, even though it's not really needed. Um, so the way to make more than one instance, you've got new and clone down at the bottom. I hit new and go to new player here, and then you can see it's creating and I'm going to rename this one. Um, there's the button. See, I've never, I've honestly never used this emulator before. So we're learning as we go here, folks. So let's name this base, base emulator, just so we know. So we're going to start that one there. And I'll move that over onto our screen so we can see. Um, again, never use this emulator before. I'm learning this up as we go, so I'm sorry if I'm missing some things. But overall, it's been pretty easy to, to use, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it does seem to get stuck. We're at 94% at the bottom there. It does seem to get stuck there for just a little bit. And we wait, and we wait, and we wait. So how's everybody doing today? I know I am stoked for um, Dragalia Lost. I've actually got it running on my phone right now too. Um, I cannot believe this game. It's running smooth like butter. It's beautiful. The visuals are amazing. Everything is fantastic. I'm so hyped. I was really worried when I saw the game that it just wouldn't be smooth. And I was, I was just worried, you know? Um, and again, this does take a second. So don't be worried. Just sit here. I don't know what it's doing. It's detecting a gamepad, I think. I think it's trying to find my um, controller right now, like this thing. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so honestly this next part is kind of glitchy It seems to work sometimes for me and not all the times and I have to just keep doing it So the way I do this is you want to not click on that window in the back You want to click on Dragalia here and just click and drag it into um, Into the app and just wait a second. Just just give it its sweet time alternatively you could hit this install APK here and um, search for it as well um, and again, this is the file I showed you in the Google Drive to download. Uh, I hope it I hope it loads here. The first time I did this, it was basically instant. So maybe this uh, has to connect to the server or something and takes a second because of that. Um, so I'm just gonna try to drag it in one more time just to just to make sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through installing the APK instead manually. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. Um, so it just took a long time. I don't know why. So this is what happens. Installation successful, hit start. Okay, so after you sit there for a while, get this running, and this little icon comes in and install successful all that shenanigans, you run it, and dun da da da, here you go. We are now running Drag Alia Lost, except no, we're not. This device is not authorized to play the game. So that is a really easy fix. And the way to do this, you need to go to this menu up top. We need to go to settings. And by the way, I would change a lot of these settings maybe after you get this figured out. But you can definitely make your computer um, much more able to handle this. I like going down um, in DPI there. We want to go to basic and we want to take out root permission. This is very important. 
Um, and then we will restart now. Taking out root permission is super duper important. It's not going to work without it, but you do need root on, I think, to get the APK installed. So keep that in mind. That's why, why, why we do APK first and then this. Okay, so we've got it open again here. For some reason, it keeps opening on the other monitor, monitor. It's really annoying. Like, I do that, and it opens up over there. Stay over here where they can see it, guys. Base emu. Here we go. And we see the wonderful Nintendo screen. The wonderful, wonderful world of Psy games and Nintendo and all things good. Um, we can even play some sound if it's not too loud. Um, oh, I have it muted. Just kidding. Just kidding. And then it's going to want to connect to um, Google Games here. So I'm just going to close that. I think we can just skip that part. Um, I just want to show you guys it's actually running here. And this is important too. If you're re-rolling... Okay, it's going to make me do it. Let me log in. Okay, we are back. I signed into my Google Play here. One thing to really keep in mind, do not link your account right away. You do not want to link until you're done re-rolling and then you want to link your account. So if you link right away, your email you do, assuming it's like other games we played, is going to be forever attached to that account. So we want to hit link later here. Um, select your country and region. Hit accept. Tap to start and we will get into this beautiful game. Authorized data. It's required to proceed 1.25 gigabytes. You will have to download this as well. I'll be back in a second. I just want to prove to you guys it's actually working. Okay, here we go. We're back in the game. We can do all the settings, kit confirm, and get ready to go. Also, the soundtrack to this game is absolutely fire. It is so good. It is amazing. I'm just rocking out to it on my phone right now. I can't even believe the quality put into this game so far. Um, super, super hyped to this. And there we go. We're in the game. Everything's going smoothly. Have a wonderful day. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always for more Dragalia Lost or Fire Emblem Heroes or whatever um, content. And I'll see you guys later. Bye now.